Six boxes of gone place, Dan. Okay, what's the angle? What angle? God's sake, I'm into cornflakes, I love them. Oh, lovely cold milk. <laughs> lovely. Okay, I'll ride the bus to the next stop. Eight pounds sixty, please. Okay, okay. Oh, what's this I see? And I'm still on the bus. These are out of date. Sell by, been and gone. Now, i tell you my problem, the bead. I like my, my cornflakes to be crunchy, you know. And, well, I just don't know about these. They're, they're, they're just... They're, they're just not going to be there, aren't they? <laughs> so... Do you two quid for the lot? Finally, the terminus. <laughs> Give me, I'm desperate. Thank you, now. Biffy, you should have chased him with a chance. I can't afford to chase him, Isa. He's a customer. And they're very thin on the ground these days. That's why those cornflakes were sitting there so long. People aren't buying anything. Aye, because of that new hyper deals. A lot of folk are buying stuff out of there now. Hyper deals are suffocating me. This shop is dying. Don't be angry with Dam. He is merely a jackal, picking at the bones of a dying carcass. Levit, I think you should lay off that Animal Planet channel and start thinking about ways you can get folk back in here. What's the point? There, now, you see? There's two faithful customers there. What's this? Jack and Victor. Hip, hip, hooray. What's the matter with him? He's buried because that big hyper deals us taken away a lot of his business. Uh-huh. Squeezing the very lifeblood out of here. Hmm. They've got him by the nuts and they're just... <coughs> yes, well, we'll get the picture, Isa. Fear not, Naveed. At least we're here. Aye, hyper deals. What a newfangled shite. Two buses up there for your groceries and then all the way back with the bags. Aye, they places are fine for your suburban wankers <laughs> with the big fancy jeep cars. But see for the likes of us, local is king. Yep. I appreciate the sentiments, boys. You're my staple, my bread and butter. But let's face it, you're old, decrepit, <laughs> bent. You've been dead in six months. Then <laughs> will I be? What can I get you? Two coffins, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> I'm up and about. Nope, I'm having a couple of slices of toast. Hyperdales. I mean, don't talk nonsense, Francis. There's bugger up with the toaster I've got. Right, I'll need to go. <coughs> <coughs> a new toaster. That'll be right. That's 25 quid you don't need to spend. Oh, but the toast's always burnt. What? You know where the knife? I mean, you can't see it. <laughs> Mm. A wee bit of glue, you'll be all right. Right, come on now. Come on. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Bill and Ben. Two whiskies, you flubber dub and nub end. Two <laughs> <laughs> side bud, is it? Eh? Eat one of Bobby's pies, you'll take your life in your hands there, boy. Oh, no. It's been a development. Eh? Taste this. Aye, all right, Bobby. Ah, ah, ah. A mouthful. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, what? What the hell's happened there, Bobby? That's, uh, that's edible. <laughs> Say hello to the Thermalite 360. No cold spots and an infrared grill. For a crunchy tap. Huh? $59.99. Hyper deals. It's not just the heat, it's, it's actually tasty, that, Bobby. That's because they're out of hyper deals as well. Jesus. Everyone's on about that place. Aye, that's because it's magic. It's like America up there. Aye, that's all very well, but what about Naveed? What about him? Well, that place is slitting his throat. He was telling us he's losing all his customers to it. I don't know. A bottle of ketchup, right? Out in Naveed's. That size. A pound. You can get a bottle of Hyperdale's twice the size for the same price. You do the math. Naveed's a robin bastard. Nah, no, that's how these big places crush the wee places, Winston. Aye, aye, you need to put it in the papers. See, your conglomerates team up with the cartels. It's the Monopolies and Mergers Commissions, you see? Then the corner of the market for the consortiums. And then it's uh, something about a, a, a loss leader. You're just saying business words now, Jack. Yes, but uh, that's why that sauce is cheaper. You can't have that, you know. What is it they call it again? The, 
The death of the high street. No, no, no. You can't help progress. Oh, indeed you cannot. I've just been to a smashing place. Hi, Bob Hills. Hills. Hi. Great. Bet that place suits you down to the ground, eh, Tam? Nice and cheap. Oh, this bad boy was £45. Aye. And the sale? No, no, I looked at the sale stuff. £20 and that. And I thought, yeah, be good to yourself. So you've seen a cheaper toaster, but you're plumped for the dear one? Aye. What? <laughs> Nothing. Right, I'm ready for a pint. Anybody else? <laughs> Two years ago you would march into the likes of Curly's, hand the fella your slip, and he would run about like a blue ass fly, getting all your stuff for you. And at the same time, Gavin, you know, how are you doing? Did you hear about so and so? What's your big plans for the weekend? You know, nice. Personal. Donuts and fresh cream, they're only 30 pence. See, in these bigger places, you're just a number. There's no contacts. You get your gear and you go. You try and start a conversation with someone in here. They think you're caring the community. <laughs> I thought Keith sat there for 14 pounds. <laughs> Look at the vids. The way I see it, you go to your butchers for your butcher meat. You go to your grocers for your groceries. Bakers for cakes. All specialising in, in the one, the one thing. Mm. It's a lot of steak for a fiver. Ah, you free some of that. Yeah, these bastards are trying to do the law, aren't they? Jack of all trades, master of none. And that is what makes them bland. Jesus. Look at that. Free time in that shop. <laughs> anyway, we've got our routine. We get our pension in Craig Lang, we spend our money in Craig Lang. End of story. Aye, the post office is too far away from this place. <laughs> I'm going to go and get a trolley. I'll get you by the donuts. <laughs> So that's the guns of Navarone, Raiden and Tebby, and Jade Goody's autobiography. Aye. Thirty pence. Each. For all three. Oh, smashing. <laughs> Here we go, darling. Hey, Winston. Damn, what's this? We're just having a bit of a clear out. These are all new. Aye. Birthdays and Christmases. I never got into wearing them. And I got to thinking, somebody else could be getting the benefit of these. God knows they're only taking up space in my place. That's very generous of you. Ah, uh, well, you know. Now, have you had your lunch? Me, eh? Uh, no. How? There's a steak house in the corner. The day tea bones. Come on, I'll buy you a tea bone and we'll wash them down with a couple of pints. You'll <laughs> you buy me. Hey, come on. Oh. That's for the wins in Africa. <laughs> Can you believe it? Post office is shut down. They moved it to the inside of Hyperdales. Have they? Oh. I'm not paying for that collar, will you? What's wrong with it? Oh, it's smashed up. It's in bits. The whole thing about a collar, will you, is it's supposed to be one big bit. <laughs> Come on, have a party. See what after he's not. <laughs> They've got me by the curly whirlies. <laughs> Jesus, Jack. Quadruple chalk chip nut fest cookies. Did you buy these? Eh? Hey. I did, I. Yeah. I split these steaks up, that's your end. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right, I'll freeze these. We'll do yours in tonight, and then I'll get the return leg. Ah, that's a good deal, eh? Hey, here, yeah, let one of them. Oh, aye. Oh. That's on God. Ah, that's strange. I can only taste the three chocolates. Oh, no. There's a the fourth one there. Mummy, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I've just looked at that there. Sixty quid. That's between the two, isn't it? That seems like a lot, but it's not really. No, no. There's enough there to do us for a fortnight. Nah. Puts us in a bit of a dilemma, though, doesn't it? 
How? No, there's us in the veeds, giving it the biggin, making out we're all loyal and all that. The next thing we're marching right into Hyperdales. Aye. Aye, but what are we supposed to do, Jack? We're pensioners. We can't have turned down value like that. Yeah, but it's still a bit shite for my veed, isn't it? Mm. Give us a bit of paper. We'll make a list of things that we can still get in the veeds. Like milk, bread, my trout and salmon magazine. My tobacco. Tobacco. Good one, Jack. The essentials. Mm. The basics. Except Naveed doesn't have the big, huge bottles of milk that last you all week, does he? No. Right. Scratch the milk. That's bread. No, no, no bread. Now they've got the in-store bakery, sure. I mean, when I bought that loaf this morning, it was still warm. Right. Lose the bread. That leaves my magazine. No, they've got the magazine rack just as you go in the door. All right. Right next to the tobacco stand. Is possible? Warm this coat. Yeah, it looks good in your tea. Sixty quid, but is that no too dear? Is it? Uh, it's only money, Winston. Hello, Peggy, sweetheart. Where are you off to? That's my Simon 18 tomorrow. I'm going to get my cake. It's not what a cake, but still my wee boy, so a cake it is. <laughs> 18, jeez, oh, wee Simon, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, here. 18's a big milestone. Tell him his first pints and meat. Oh, we. Eh? He was done for drunk driving when he was 12. <laughs> Good to you. Yeah, it's no problem, darling. <laughs> Listen, I think it's great that you're all spending and everything. Enjoying it, you know, but people can get the wrong idea about things, you know. What do you mean? People see you throwing your dosh about. They're going to jump to conclusions. They're going to think there's something wrong with you. When you get cancer or something, a brain tumour. They might think you've found Jesus. But you don't want people looking at you. People worrying about you. So see this mad spending? I think that should just be between us. So that it's just like me. Who knows about it? You got me? Aye. Aye. Keep it quiet. Aye. Tom! See, face on the ball! Find someone! Enjoy! <laughs> Kids, it's a shame. There's nothing for them to do around about here. <laughs> Double cream. Beautiful. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. Would you like to see it? <laughs> oh, my God. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. See that crisscross affair on the top there? Lattice, they call that. The colour, it's, it's golden. Like it's been fired by the breath of angels. That's for exactly the one side of it as well. See the pies and the beads? They're pissed thin, Jack. With that rotten, runny sauce. Aye, you'd need to be bears like to find the bloody apples in it. <laughs> He's hot. He's let me go. What? He mean, he sacked me. <laughs> uh, you better come in. I don't know what to do. Oh, 
be great old man. Yeah. Well, you better sit down. You're off a cut up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Would you like a slice of cake, hen? No. I've got mine exactly the same in my fridge. It's lovely. Oh, the lattice and that. That's just it. That's what was in my bag when he caught me. When who caught you? The feed. He caught me in Hyperdales. Oh, the look of his face. What did he say to you? He said, Et tu, Isa? <laughs> I never ate tu, I am. <laughs> I don't think that's what he means, sweetheart. Et tu, it's, it's for Caesar. It means you've betrayed him. Oh. It doesn't mean that, Jack. <laughs> it means you've stabbed him in the back, Isa. <laughs> right, we're starting to be a wee bit more diplomatic than that, Victor. No, what Naveed means is, uh, he just means you're a dirty Judas. <laughs> Oh, get a load of dapper down. Oh, aye. New coat. You like it? Oh. Very nice, aye. Where did you get that? He bought me. Eh? Aye. I took me into Marks and Spencer's and just paid for it. Damn, what are you talking about? Aye. Watch this. Thank you. Oh, eh. Uh, I've, uh... Here, Winston. Uh, let me. Arthur, are you for another one? Arthur for another one, too, thanks. <laughs> eh? It's like Christmas. Oh, it's like April Fool's now, like. This is a bloody joke. Well, it's no joke. I mean, he took me for a steak dinner and everything. I mean, red wine, a lot. He never batted an eyelid. He just paid for it. What's the matter with him? I think he's went... Mm, that's not right, is it? I know if he's went too lally. Of course it's right. He's been leeching off me for years. This is payback time. If he's went do lally, I'm going to ride the do lally bastard like a donkey. An arsehole being with you. No. I'll tell you who's being like an arsehole. You, Naveed. What? You, you lousy big shit sacking eyes up. Aye. Just because she was getting her groceries out of Hyperdales, you, you, you bag her. I get this. Yeah. He sees eyes up buying her groceries from somewhere other than his shop and he sacks her. Now, wait a minute. I didn't sack her. I let her go. Sack, let go, shite, jobby. That woman has been nothing but loyal to you. Loyal? Don't talk to me about loyalty. I've ran that shop since 1975. And it's been no picnic. When I came here, I had to put up with a lot of shite. Neds, drunks, graffiti. But I stuck it out. Every single morning of life, six o'clock, to take in your roles, sort your papers. Every single person in here, at one time or another, has struggled for cash and come to me and asked for tick. And I've given it to you. And now, for the first time ever, when I need you to show me some support, where are you? Hyperdales. Shopping like posh spice on coke. <laughs> I wasn't sacked for shopping somewhere else. She's finished, because I'm finished. It's finished. So don't stand there and talk to me about bloody loyalty. The shop is shut. Let me get you a pint. I'm buying it. Oh, I'm sick of this place. Two bloody buses for a daft carton of milk. <laughs> this is the way, and this is us new. At these bastards beck and call. I'll tell you another con and all. See having that post office in here? That's not a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. You get your pension out of there, then you're walking over there and giving it right back to them. Our souls. Announcement to Hyperdale customers. All meat produce now 20% off. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah, it's a beauty. Oof. There's your Uncle Bob there. A nice machine. Right. Come on, we'll tell the woman that's what one you want then. <coughs> well, listen, you sure it's not a bit dear? How much is it? 800. Ah, I've got 800. Well, you're wanting it, right? Aye. Come on then. 
Sa baie divin, jy kan nie baie hier paal en adbro, frost, free Amerikane, ijs te spens en fuel chest. No, look, Tam, I don't know how to tell you this. I've been taking advantage of you. How? Tam, you're a dirty, miserable bastard. Rubber. I'm always buying new stuff. I knew. I'm talking about before. I was miserable. Aye. You were famous for it. Jesus. Tam, you had a cat once, right? And it got run over. So you got yourself another cat, called it the same name, to save yourself buying another collar. I, I like the name Missy. Tam, the second cat was a boy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Look, don't just take my word for it. Jack! Victor! Give me a minute. <laughs> Tam, Winston. What's going on? I'm trying to buy him a fridge and he's called me a miserable bastard. No, 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 no. I'm saying... Shut up. He's buying you a fridge. I'm not wanting the fridge. That's what I'm trying to tell him. I'm trying to tell him he should be a miserable bastard like he's always been. Aye. Eh? Aye, sure, when your wee cat died. I've told him that. <laughs> the store is now closing. Could all Hyperdale customers please make their way to the exit? Tell operators the tills are now closed. <laughs> Hello, Navid. Hello. What are you doing? Camping. Camping in a shop? Yes. What's that in your knee? Nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. No, it looks like a petrol can. Is there petrol in it? I think you should come out of there, Navid. No, go away. The store is closing. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Leave me alone. David, what is it you think you're doing? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise this place to the ground. That's the lesson they're going to learn. You squeeze the small man, the small man squeezes back. Oh, this is smashing. How much of these? <laughs> Come to your senses, man, eh? We know it's been hard. You lost your business. I never lost it. They took it. Aye, but this isn't the answer. No, this is arson by Christ. You've got 20 years for this. Listen, this, this is our fault. What you said in the pub, you were right. We've let you do, but we can fix it. Aye. We'll go back to Craig Lang, we'll go ruin everybody, and tell him to boycott this shite hole. Then all your customers will come back. I mean, this place is just a novel, ain't it? Aye. It's more than half an hour. Give you another chance. Hey, come on, Haim. Open up the shop, just like the old days. Oh, the phones are internal, and I've been doing every single door, and I've all got roller shutters doing outside them. Looks as if we're in here in the morning. And that's a bad thing, how? <laughs> I can't go just help myself to stock. That's got to be paid for. Uh, no, it's all right, Tam. I left the money doing by the till. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Need joy, Jack? No, it's an old-fashioned lock-in. Right, we're getting pished. Ah, I'd say so. Do me. <laughs> so, it's just a case of sitting tight till morning then. Aye, that's what we'll do. Oh, this is the ballad. I've heard a garden, I'm definitely getting one of these. You're getting tired of that bloody thing. No. <laughs> what have you got there, Tam? What it does is <clears throat> massages your spine for your neck all the way down to your ass. <coughs> Jack? We need to get this place cleared up before the cleaners come in in the morning, you know. Hey, hey, hey. They locked us in. We're entitled to make ourselves comfortable. Mm -hmm. Aye. I'm getting hungry. Oh, oh, oh. this is magic. Jesus. What 
happened there? What do you think happened? You poured a lot of lager down an electric chair, you tool. <laughs> Come on, Rest. I can smell burnt hairs in my nose. Where are we? Oh, don't start, Tam. You're in Hyperdales. We're locked in, sure. Because of this bammy bastard. <laughs> We're locked in? A superstore? Ourselves? <laughs> Aye. We have this stuff? <laughs> and nobody can see us? Easy, Tam. It's free stuff. Tam. It's free easy, stuff. Easy, easy, easy. Right. It's free stuff. Tam. <laughs> Look at the old town back. I'm quite bevy. Uh, that's how you're that's how you're supposed to eat. Take one of them, they're lovely. <laughs> Come on. You know they only charge one fifty for this. What about Tom? Oh why? Bloody demented animal. <laughs> it's all about much for him, you know. It's like waking a sleepwalker. Yeah. You're Navid. Aye. Feeling a bit better about things, are you? Aye. Glad you didn't do anything stupid. Here, boys. Don't go mental. You still got your steak to come. <laughs> Navid. Here's a wee drop of that petrol. Here, boys, this is great, huh? You get your pension at that counter, and then you come over here and spend it at this counter. Get up, ye. <laughs> yeah. Come on, see what I've bought. What? Well, you've got to be good to yourself. Hi, for deals. Aye. I got it in the fire seal. <laughs> <laughs> So what's this? <laughs> 